Welcome from Rishab Instruments. We will now show you the video on insulation testing with the help of Rishin Su 5DX 5kV Digital Insulation Tester. This video will cover basics, various tests and safety norms of insulation testing. Now let us the see features and benefits offered by Rishin Su 5DX, measurement range up to 10 tera ohms, 3 mA short circuit. Current for wide resistance range to cater different applications. Fix mode with test voltage of 100 volts, 250 volts, 500 volts, 1 kV, 2.5 kV and 5 kV DC adjust mode with test voltage selectable from 100 to 5 kV DC for flexibility in test voltage selection. PI, DAR, ramp test for diagnostic testing of insulation for health check of insulation. Voltage measurement up to 600 volts hence there is no need to carry extra DMM to check voltage present if any in DUT. Max, min limit selectable threshold on measurements for easy check for pass, fail test. 700 data, internal memory for saving results, recall saved results at display so as to keep record of readings and recall at display. PC software for analysis of readings and report generation. Smooth feature for stable measurement results. Rechargeable battery so no need of frequent battery replacement. CAT4 protection and IP53 protection which ensures instrument is safe for operation in field. Can work in presence of induction voltage up to 600 volts which is ideal for testing in substations where induction voltage in present up to 600 volts. Reasons of insulation degradation. Electrical stress. For example, spikes and over voltages. Mechanical stress. For example, vibration, movement, impact. Chemical attack. For example, dirt, oil, corrosive vapor. Thermal stress. For example, hot, cold condition. Machine start, stopping. Environmental conditions. For example, moisture, humidity, rodents. Objective of Insulation Resistance Testing Electrical insulation starts aging, in due course of time after its application. Due to deterioration of insulation, the performance of the instrument or equipment is hampered. The reasons for deterioration are, installation environments with extreme temperature changes, chemical contaminations, humidity, non-use of equipment for long time, prolonged use of equipment working in heavy short circuit fault conditions and so on. Obviously, power reliability and personnel safety can suffer. As a result, it becomes important to identify the deterioration of insulation as quickly as possible. The necessary corrective measures can be taken accordingly. Spot Insulation Resistance Test In this method, we simply connect the instrument across the insulation to be tested and operate it for a short, specific time period, 60 seconds is usually recommended. As shown schematically in figure below we have simply picked a point on a curve of increasing resistance values, quite often the value would be less for 30 seconds, more for 60 seconds. Bear in mind also that temperature and humidity, as well as condition of your insulation affect your reading. If the apparatus you are testing has very small capacitance, such as a short run of house wiring, the spot reading test is all that is necessary. However, most equipments are capacitive and so your very first spot reading on equipment in your plant, with no prior tests, can be only a rough guide as to how good or bad the insulation is. Now we will see spot test via Rishin Su 5DX. Turn on the instrument by pressing on OFF key. Press the function Erase Memory key to select the fix mode. Press the mode slash clear smooth key to set one of the following test voltages, 250 volts, 500 volts, 1000 volts, 2500 volts, 5000 volts. Note fix mode and adjust mode both can be used for voltage selection, 
in adjust mode voltage can be selected in steps of 25 volts from 250 volts to 1000 volts and 50 volts from 1000 volts to 5000 volts. By cyclically pressing the set display memory key, it is possible to select the time. Press the arrow keys to change the time. For spot test select the time as 1 minute. After setting, press the save key to save the changes made or press the escape or call memory key to exit without saving and return to the previous screen. Insert the measuring leads into the relevant input leads of the instrument negative RX, positive RX and guard, press the start slash stop key to perform measurement. Once measurement is complete and any capacitance has been discharged, the instrument shows the value of the measured insulation resistance, the value of the generated voltage, the duration of the test. By cyclically pressing the arrow keys capacitance value can also be displayed. Also value of leakage current will be displayed. Polarization Index Test The PI, Polarization Index, measures the time required for molecules of insulation to polarize to resist the flow of current. For testing high-capacitance systems such as large motors, generators, or apparatus with complex insulation systems, steady readings are only possible after the time-dependent currents have almost died down. PI test measures the ratio between insulation resistance readings taken at 1 minute and 10 minutes after the application of voltage to judge the rate of disappearance of capacitance and absorption currents. A ratio known as the polarization index can be obtained by dividing the value from the 10 minute reading by the value from the 1 minute reading. A low polarization index usually indicates excessive moisture and contamination. Polarization index is a ratio of 10 minute insulation resistance value to the 1 minute insulation resistance value. Polarization index gives us an inference of quality of insulation as shown in table. If value is between 0 to 1, it's dangerous, if it's between 1 to 2, the insulation quality is poor. If it's between 2 to 5 then it's considered as good and greater than 5 is considered as excellent. Please note the value is also seen as per type and class of insulation. Steps for measurement of polarization index via Rishinsu 5DX. Turn on the instrument by pressing on off key. Press the function erase memory key to select the fix mode. Press the mode slash clear smooth key to set one of the following test voltages, 250 volts, 500 volts, 1000 volts, 2500 volts, 5000 volts. Note fix mode and adjust mode both can be used for voltage selection. In adjust mode voltage can be selected in steps of 25 volts from 250 volts to 1000 volts and 50 volts from 1000 volts to 5000 volts. For polarization index test select the time as 10 minutes. Please note DAR is also measured while performing the polarization index test. By cyclically pressing the set display memory key, it is possible to select the following parameters. Minimum value of the insulation min in a range between 0.01 mega ohm to max. Maximum value of the insulation max in a range between min to 9.99 tera ohm. Set the time as 10 minutes by setting up and down arrow keys for polarization index test. Press save key to save the settings. Insert the measuring leads into the relevant input leads of the instrument negative RX, positive RX and guard, press the start slash stop key to perform measurement.
Once measurement is complete and any capacitance has been discharged, the instrument shows the value of the measured insulation resistance, the value of the generated voltage, the duration of the test. Then by cyclically pressing the arrow keys, leakage current, DAR, PI, capacitance, value can be displayed. Ramp test. The increasing sophistication of modern insulation testers has led to a refinement of the step voltage test concept to a whole other level, the ramp test. Rather than increasing test voltage in discrete jumps, industry standard are 500 volts and 1 kV increments. The ramp test applies voltage in a continuous increase at a constant rate, up to the selected maximum. The response of the insulating material to voltage can be assessed in a much subtler and more detailed manner, without the jarring effects of quantum leaps. Small defects can be detected more readily, and equipment that is on the verge of breakdown can be analyzed without risking damage. Leakage current is graphed continuously against voltage rise. Normally, the relationship would be expected to be linear, but if current begins to rise more sharply, the material is breaking down and the test can be terminated prior to the occurrence of full breakdown. Defects like cracks, voids, delamination, moisture ingress, surface contamination and uncured resin may all be detected. The IEEE has recommended the method especially for epoxy mica, polyester, and asphalt materials. Comparing the curves of asphalt mica to epoxy mica shows that asphalt mica has a higher level of absorption current, resulting in a steeper curve. But both produce clean, linear graphs when in good condition. Now we will see ramp test via Rishin Su 5DX. Turn on the instrument by pressing on off key. With help of function erase memory key select ramp mode. By cyclically pressing the set slash display MEM key, it is possible to select the following parameters. Minimum value of the insulation min in a range between 0.01 mega ohm to max. Maximum value of the insulation, MAX, in a range between, MIN, 10T. Value of time interval delta T, in which the test voltage passes from 0 volts to the set value V1. Value of the test voltage V1 in a range between 100 volts to 5000 volts, can be set in steps of 25 volts up to 1000 volts and in steps of 50 volts from 1000 volts to 5000 volts. Value of time T1 in which the test voltage V1 is applied, in a range between, 0 minutes. 5 seconds, 99 minutes, 59 seconds, number n of cycles in which the ramp is repeated, in a range between 1 to 255, n equals 1 indicates one only test without repetitions. After setting, press the save key to save the changes made or press the escape or call memory key to exit without saving and return to the previous screen. Once measurement is complete and any capacitance has been discharged, the instrument shows the value of the measured insulation resistance, leakage current, capacitance, number of cycles, recommended test voltages and minimum IR values as per Perl standard or NADA MTS 1997.
safety requirements for insulation testing. All equipment under test must be disconnected and isolated. Equipment should be discharged, shunted or shorted out, for at least as long as the test voltage was applied in order to be absolutely safe for the person conducting the test. Never use insulation tester in an explosive atmosphere. Make sure all switches are blocked out and cable ends marked properly for safety. Cable ends to be isolated shall be disconnected from the supply and protected from contact to supply, or ground, or accidental contact. Erection of safety barriers with warning signs, and an open communication channel between testing personnel. Do not test when humidity is more than 70%. Good insulation, IR reading increases first then remain constant. Bad insulation, IR reading increases first and then decreases. We hope this video enhanced your knowledge on insulation testing. Thank you very much for watching this video.